afternoon, YouTube family. How in the heck are you guys? We are back in my home because, let me tell y'all a little story. So yesterday, I got in my car, took the kids to my mother-in-law's around like 1.30, 2 o'clock, and I took, picked up some orders because, you know, I'm delivering orders for ship now. So I pick up my orders, I'm driving, and I hear this crunching sound all of a sudden, and I'm like, oh my god did i just get a flat tire i have all these groceries in my car what am i gonna do so i pull over and i look at my tire and i'm like it's not flat so i start driving and i still hear it and it's getting worse and then i hear this other sound and i'm like okay so i call my mechanic and i explain to him what's going on he's like i get off work at 3 30 i'll come and pick up your car and take it and look at it and see what's going on and i'm like okay so i hurry up and deliver my two orders race back pick the girls back up come home so that he can pick up my car and um he picked my car up and found out that i need a right rear wheel bearing i kept saying wheelbarrow so i don't know where i was getting that from so thankfully i said it right so now i can't work because that needs repaired so guess what you're stuck with me in this dumpster diver's kitchen today <laughs> But I have some awesome stuff for you guys. So, remember yesterday? Well, yeah, yesterday. I just uploaded that video. I got all those apples. And I got all those apples last time I went diving too. So I have a fridge filled with apples. So I was like, what am I gonna do with all these apples? Well, good old trusty internet came through. I went on and searched. I just put in um, dessert recipes using apples. And all these recipes came up. So I was like, okay, well, I don't really want to make an involved one because I'm also going to show you guys what I'm making for dinner tonight. So stick around for that. I wanted something easy. So I found these caramel or caramel, however you say it, apple bars. And it uses a spice cake mix. So all you need is spice cake, butter. It says apple cider. I hate apple cider. So I'm going to use apple juice instead. Um, you can also use any kind of nuts you want. I am mixing the nuts because my kids don't really like walnuts. I love walnuts, but they don't. Uh, two cups of diced apples, a cup of the caramel apple dip you get in the produce section. One of these bad boys. So I went to the store and picked that up. A half a cup of powdered sugar, and then it says two teaspoons of water so that you can make a glaze. I never use water. I use milk and vanilla. So I'll show you how I do it though, of course. But I will link the recipe in the description box below if you guys are interested. It's super simple. So let's get started on these caramel apple bars. So I got my oven preheating to 350 degrees. I got me a 9 by 13 pan. Got my good old KitchenAid mixer out. So what we're going to need is... I wrote it down. I didn't put it in my recipe book yet because I figure if we don't like it, then I'm not going <laughs> to put it in my recipe book. So I just wrote it on a scratch paper because my printer is downstairs in my game room and my hubby is sleeping down there. So I don't want to go down and wake him up because he's on midnight show this week. So I just went to the store and picked up a box of this um, Duncan Hines spice cake mix. So we're going to dump that on in to the bowl. And then we're gonna add in a third a cup of butter. So we're gonna drop this in a bowl and melt this up. Girls bowls, I think they'll mind. And then for dinner tonight, I am making stuffed shells with ricotta cheese and spinach. And it's so good. I found in my freezer, I found a big old container of spaghetti sauce that I totally forgot I had. And I was like, oh snap, I'm gonna use this because it's meat sauce. That way I don't even have to get out a pound of ground beef. I already have this and I can just add some sauce to this. So I got that out. I got my frozen spinach out because I don't use fresh. I always use frozen for this. I don't know why. It's just how I've always done it. So we got our spice mix in. We are going to also add to this a third a cup of apple cider or like me, I'm not using apple cider. I'm using apple juice. So you can do that instead of apple cider if you want. Please hold, I have a child that needs her coat on. All right, so we just need a third of a cup. If you have the apple cider, definitely use it. I mean, if you want to. I just don't like apple cider. I'd rather do apple juice. Third of a cup. 
And then I'm gonna scrape my butter in. Right. Get all that butter goodness in there. And then it says just to mix it until a soft dough forms. So let's get this up going. For my stuffed shell recipe, all you need is a box of stuffed shells or jumbo shells, not stuffed, they're not stuffed. I don't know how much sauce I'm gonna need yet, so I already got out another tomato paste, a large can, this is my favorite sauce to use, and then a small can. But again, I don't know how much I'm gonna use since I already have some. So, all right, so while this is mixing, I'm gonna get out my dumpster apples, and I need two cups of chopped up apples. So let's get started on that. I'm just gonna peel them all because I don't want them to have any skins on them. And these are the ones that I did get out of the Aldi dumpster. I left my fridge open again <laughs> every video. Um, they do have a lot of brown spots on them, but we will, of course, just take those right off. These are those um, Autumn Glory apples, and I love using these for baking. So it says you only need about two cups, so... I'm gonna cut these two up small and see where we're at. All right, so two of these pretty large size Autumn Glory apples makes two cups perfectly. I'm back. I had to take a break because I literally, I love our floor. I have to show you guys. The kitchen floor is done. The baseboards are not done. He did not start on that yet. I think he said next week he's going to do that. But these floors show every crumb. <laughs> like I had to stop and sweep my floor because it was driving me nuts. Aren't those nice? I absolutely love them. Don't mind all the clutter everywhere. But literally, every crumb that sh is on this floor shows up now. And that drives me nuts. So I had to hurry up and sweep it. <laughs> All right, so our oven's preheated. We got our, my apples, I just put them in some water and let them soak while I was sweeping the floor. So I'm gonna drain those. So now it says to <clears throat> grease your pan. You're not, not 19 by three, Lord in heaven. <laughs> There's a dyslexia coming out. That your nine by 13 pan. It also says to spray your hands. And we're gonna press half of this cake batter down into the pan. I think it's gonna take all of it. Yeah, this needs to be in a smaller pan. There is no way that's filling up a nine by 13. I'm gonna switch it and put it into this one because look at that. You're supposed to fill with half the dough and then put the rest of the dough and drop it on. There's no way, there's not enough dough. Oh, I gotta spray it, shoot. All right. So now we're gonna pop this dough in here or batter, not dough. Shannon, that's better. There we go, that's better. And then it says with the remaining, we're just gonna drop like chunks, like little dough balls, pieces all over the top. So now we are going to spread the caramel dip over the dough and then sprinkle your apples and nuts. You need one cup of caramel dip Alexa, how many cups are in 16 ounces? 16 fluid ounces is two cups. All right, thanks Alexa. All right, so this is two cups, so I'm just gonna use half of it, and you're just gonna spread it all over evenly, as evenly as you can. Then we're gonna take our apples and sprinkle those. I'm actually also going to put a little bit of cinnamon on those apples. It doesn't say to do that, but I like to be extra. 
So I'm just gonna take a little bit of cinnamon and sprinkle it on top. And then we're gonna sprinkle our apples. And then we're gonna take the rest of our dough and you're just gonna like drop it all over. So all done, that is what it'll look like. We're gonna pop this in a 350 degree preheated oven for 25 to 30 minutes. Set my timer for 25 minutes and I'll come back and check it. Now we have tons of caramel apple dip for apples because I still have tons of apples. I only use two for this recipe. Now we are going to get started on my stuffed shells, which it's so super easy. We have our spinach defrosting still, which I'm gonna help this along by popping it in the microwave. All you're gonna do is make sure your spinach, you can use fresh if you have it, I just don't have it, so frozen it is. Once it's defrosted, you have to drain all the extra water out because there will be so much water in here. So we're just gonna put this on defrost. We're gonna get our water boiling for our shell. So we got a pot of water on. I just put some sea salt in the water. We're gonna get our jumbo shells cooking in that. I got my defrosted, I really hope this is spaghetti sauce. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny if it wasn't? I've done that before. I thought it was spaghetti sauce and it was chili. <laughs> my husband was, he's like, why don't you label those? <laughs> All right, anyway, I'm pretty sure this is, yep it is. Yep, sure is. So we're gonna get our sauce starting to simmer. And we need some ricotta cheese. I bought two, but I'm thinking I might only need one. I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll start with one. So that was actually my meatballs. I had leftover meatballs and I was gonna make meatball subs. Not no more. <laughs> That's okay. So there's actually not a lot of sauce in there. So I'm gonna add a big old can of sauce with some extra spices into that pot over there. And then we're gonna get started on our ricotta mixture, which this is a super simple and fast meal. If you don't have a lot of time and you have some leftover spaghetti sauce, I'm telling you, it's simple. It does not take a lot of time. I mean, it is a, a little bit time consuming because you gotta stuff the shells, but it's not too bad. And we're gonna add another can of tomato paste so it's not super thick. I always buy the little cans. I don't ever need those big honking ones that they sell. And I feel like it goes bad before I can use it again. So we're gonna just season up our sauce. I just do Italian seasoning, garlic salt, garlic powder, pepper. Those are like my go-tos on everything really. A little bit of pepper and garlic powder. All right, and we're gonna let that simmer away until we are ready for it and let our meatballs get heated through. All right, so while we're waiting for our water to boil, we are going to get our ricotta mix. I got my new dumpster bowls. I washed them, don't worry. I'm gonna use one of these. This is 15 ounces. We're gonna plop this on into our bowl. Gotta love that sound it makes. Oh my God, you guys almost fell into the water. This is why I shouldn't do this in the sink. <laughs> so to your ricotta, you do need to season it. I see a lot of people not adding any seasoning to that. It's gonna be bland, it's gonna be gross. You, you need to season it, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna do a little Italian, a little pepper, a little garlic salt, and a little garlic powder. You can add whatever seasonings you want. This is just what I add. And then to every small 15 ounce container of ricotta you use, one egg. This will help keep it binding together and not all falling out of your shells, which you don't want that. I'm just gonna, oh, there was a shell in there. I found it. Thank goodness, none of us are gonna eat eggshell tonight. All right, so you're just gonna mix this up. And then we're gonna add the rest of our ingredients to this. I wonder why my water's taking forever. I didn't have it on time. 
So to our ricotta mixture, we're gonna add a little bit of mozzarella, not a lot, because we're gonna put a lot over the top. So if you don't sniff a root test, make sure it's all right. I don't know, again, I'm not measuring. I do about a half a cup, I would say, for each container, uh, the 15 ounce container of ricotta. We like it lots of cheesy. Lots and lots of cheesiness in our stuffed shells. And then I'm gonna do a good sprinkling of Parmesan. So the ricotta is all mixed. Now we're gonna add some of that spinach. I'm probably not gonna use this whole container. I'm just gonna take it and squeeze. See all that juice coming out? You don't want that in your cheese. It's gonna make it really, really like, I don't know, not sticking together. <laughs> I can't think of the word. But we're gonna, it's okay if it's still a little frozen. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. Just as long as you squeeze all that extra water out. Don't worry, you're not gonna be able to taste the spinach in this, I promise you, because I hate the taste of spinach, but it's good for you and it's good for my kids, but they will not taste it, I promise. Now you got your spinach in your bowl. You're just gonna mix this all around. And again, depending on your family size, I'm only making one box of the jumbo shells because again, my husband won't eat leftovers of this. So there's that. Any of you wives that watch my channel or girlfriends or your husbands and boyfriends like this? Cause it really burns my biscuits. Like I make all this food and then it sits in the refrigerator. Eat the freaking leftovers. You know what I'm saying? Like, ah. Once our water is boiling, we're gonna pop these bad boys in. We have seven minutes left on our um, apple caramel bars. Hopefully those things turn out because it looked and smelled good. So I'm like, fingers crossed, hoping that it's good because that's our dessert for tonight. Caramel apple bars are done. Look at how good that looks. Try and block out that. Oh my God, I'm dripping it everywhere. <laughs> Anyway, it looks really yummy, right? Right. So we're gonna let this cool off and then we will try this after dinner, of course. But we're gonna get finished with our stuffed shells and I'm gonna clean up the mess I just made on my brand new floor. Down my cabinet. What is wrong with me? I got the um, stuffed shells in the large pot over there boiling. Our meatballs are cooking. So, clean up some of this mess. Um, I'm probably just going to chop all these meatballs up just so that they're just like a meat sauce. It'll just be easier with the stuffed shells. Um, my ricotta mixture is completely done. We are going to just put this in the refrigerator until the shells are done boiling. And then we will stuff them and put sauce on them and throw them in the oven. So while we're waiting for all that stuff to, to happen and cook and whatever, I'm gonna clean this disaster that I have going on. <laughs> Cause it's a hot mess. And I legit just cleaned it all earlier this morning and it was thick and span. And then I swear, once I start cooking, it's like game over, everything's a hot mess. Everywhere is just, like, I don't have that much room either. Like, this is all the counter space I have other than this little piece over here. Like, it's just not enough counter space for everything that I need. I just don't have room for everything. So, I cannot wait. Like, I'm so happy that we're making this house into everything that we wanted because when we first bought this house, guys, I'm not even lying. Oh, it was bad. It was um, a retired, you know, older woman and her husband had passed and they didn't update this house, I don't think ever. The carpets were orange. She smoked in the house. I mean, literally the first shower I took in the bathroom, the bathroom, the ceiling was dripping nicotine. It was disgusting. I got out and I was like, that I will not shower here until we scrub these walls. Like I, I don't even wanna sleep here until we scrub these walls. We scrubbed them. It, it, it had to have been 20 years of cigarette smoke. Had to have been. Like, I smoke, but I smoke outside. I don't smoke in my home. I mean, I have kids, obviously. I wouldn't smoke in my home. But, yeah, that's my story. I don't know. I just wanted to share that with you guys. <laughs> oh, you're probably like, oh, 
probably like, whatever, Shannon. We're used to it by now. So anyway, tell me guys, what is going on in your areas? Are you, are like the face masks still a must in your area? Are they letting up? Or what's going on with, you know, your area? I'm curious to know because we're still on lockdown in our area. Um, you still need to have a face mask on. Somebody come get these kids. <laughs> My husband has to work midnight shift this week. So he's downstairs in the game room sleeping. The garage is literally right next to it and they're down there in my car opening and shutting the garage door. <laughs> oh my God. And it's not a quiet garage door, my dad. Oh Lord in heaven, child. Excuse me while I tend to my child's boo-boo. Boo-boo is better. We're bandaged up, everything is okay. We are about to get one heck of a thunderstorm here. Like it is turning black outside. All right, so our noodles are done. I'm gonna cut the heat, drain them, and our oven is still on from our dessert. So we're gonna leave our oven at 350 degrees. Drain your noodles without burning yourself with the steam like I'm doing. Whoo, child, that's hot. Then, a lot of people tell you not to do this, but you know, I'm not one of those people. <laughs> so, I'm gonna run them under cold water because I'm gonna be handling them and I don't wanna burn my skin off. So, I'm gonna run them under cold water. Then you're gonna need a baking dish. And then get your ricotta mixture out. And voila, this is what it looks like. You don't want it to be too thin and runny. That's why you add the egg, so that it'll keep everything binding together. So we're going to put some sauce. Let me bring you guys over so you see what I'm doing. I just almost knocked that apple dessert off my counter with my tripod. Lord help me today, please. So I'm gonna ladle some sauce in the bottom. You don't need a ton, you just need a, a little. And then we got our shells and our filling. So you're just gonna take your shells and stuff it with your mixture. Like so. And then just continue to do that until they're all stuffed. Don't worry, I'll put you guys on fast forward with some cool music. both of those containers of <clears throat> ricotta because I still have all those noodles left and no more mixture left, but that's okay. <clears throat> so now you're going to take your sauce and just ladle it over your noodles. These are also meatballs in here, so some aren't chopped up, some are. And just make sure you cover it all. You don't want them to be dry. Then we're going to throw some mozzarella and Parmesan cheese. The cheesier, the better in my house. Just like so. So we're gonna throw that in our 350 degree oven and I'm probably gonna check back in about half an hour and see where they're at and maybe taste them and see how they're doing. So I'll set my timer for 30 minutes and then I'll bring you guys back and we'll see how they so turn out. Our caramel apple bars are cooled off. They don't really look like a bar. They're like falling apart, but they smell amazing. So I'm gonna give it a taste. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So good. This is really good. It's really, the spice cake is pretty strong. So if you don't like spice cake, you would not like this. 
but it's really good. I really like it. So that'll go in the recipe box. Yay. Very decadent though. That's a lot of caramel. I think if I make it again, I'll just drizzle caramel and not put ha a whole cup of, of blah, 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 blah. Lord help me. Next time I make it, I'm just going to drizzle caramel and not do the whole cup that it calls for in the recipe because it's way too much caramel. I think just a nice little drizzle over like a quarter cup would have been perfect. So what is on my shirt? So if you guys try and make that, definitely don't use a whole cup of caramel because it's way too much. I'll bring you back whenever my stuffed shells are ready and we'll see how those turn out. You know what I did? Mm-hmm. Yep. You all probably know what I did. <laughs> I forgot to put the glaze on the top before I ate a big old piece of it. <laughs> oh my goodness, my brain, my brain. So we're gonna get some, without dropping everything else, powdered sugar out. You're gonna need a third of a cup, which I'm not probably using that much. I'm just gonna take a couple heaping tablespoonfuls, that looks good enough. And then you're just gonna take a little bit of milk, literally a little splash, and then I'm gonna put in a little splash of vanilla. And then we're just gonna mix this up, and then we're gonna put it, drizzle it over the cake for the icing. You were all probably watching me like, wasn't, didn't she say that she was gonna make a glaze for that? Yeah, I did. Mm-hmm. Why I should stick to dumpster diving. <laughs> oh, Lord. I know one thing, though. My stuffed shells smell amazing. Good enough. So you just want to get all the lumps out. Make sure it's thick so it's not too runny. And then just drizzle all over the top. <laughs> There's a big old piece missing from where I ate it. It is good though, but it probably would have been much better with this glaze on the top. Now that looks more like a dessert, doesn't it? <laughs> I don't want to spill it everywhere again. And I think that's going to make it, because I was like, man, it really has a really strong spice case. <laughs> spice cake taste. I just tried mixing that all together and spice case is what came out. But I mean, I like spice cake, but it, it was a little too strong for me. So I think the glaze is definitely what would calm that down a little bit. So it's probably much better like that, but I'll try it later. Cause I just ate a huge chunk of it. <laughs> All right. I'm going to check on our stuffed shells and see how we're doing. Look at those bad boys. Oh yeah, look at that awesomeness. And then you see, if you use the egg, it keeps everything inside the shells. None of the stuffing will come out. Look at how yummy that looks. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I know, I know. <laughs> at least I didn't forget any ingredients in that. <laughs> Let's give her a taste, shall we? gonna be piping hot and I'm probably gonna burn my face off but it'll be worth it mm-hmm so good that's gonna wrap up today's video folks I hope you enjoyed these recipes and if you try them don't forget to shoot your girl an email with pictures so I can see what you did with my recipes and how you changed them up and made them your own. So I will talk to you all in those comments down below. Also, don't forget if you don't mind watching one or two ads for me, I would greatly appreciate it. You don't have to watch the whole thing, just 30 seconds. And until next time, happy diving, baking, and cooking. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.